how much has that shut you in and shut you off from everything going on around? I think that it shut me off not from experiencing things because I still go to the movie theaters. I think it shut me off from allowing people in. Okay. Because someone new whose average size doesn't know or even think about right. the size of the seats at the movie theater. Right. And the conversation in itself can be embarrassing. Right. Um, and it can be a lot of work to get people acclimated because in effect I'm handicapped. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what? It's okay. Take your time. So you really have to make all the same arrangements for my father, who's a quadriplegic. A lot of the arrangements that I make for him, I have to also make for myself. And so explaining that to people or inviting someone new in your space, you are afraid of the rejection, um, the judgment, um, and being denied even an opportunity professionally. Right. If you ever tell someone, you know, if you send for me to be your speaker at your conference, you have to buy two plane tickets because that's what it's going to take to get me there. You can be denied in so many ways because of the obesity. I understand that. I understand that. I, I know this is tough. It is. I know it's tough, but it's important. It is. Because when you equate yourself with your father, there is one distinct difference. He can't grow legs and arms. He can't change, but you can change this. You, you are blessed with an opportunity to go through a transformation that he doesn't have. And so this is something that is fixable for you. I want to meet the Jay you would be if you were not in this position. 